This is page 12 in the Coding for Beginners Using Scratch book and the title at the top is Dancing Sprites. So we're going to make some sprites do some dancing here. So it says different versions of the same sprite are called costumes and we can view all the sprites costumes available by clicking the costumes tab above the blocks menu so that would be right here so if we want to see the costumes for our cat looks like we got two of them so we kind of make it look like he's running okay so if you want to make him look like he's running uh, that's how you do it you switch back and forth between these two okay let's go back to our scripts here and we are on the part that says bring a dinosaur to life so we've already started a new project and uh, we want to right click on the cat and choose, so I'm going to right click here and we're going to choose delete. So there's nothing here and now we want to go to new sprite which is right here and we want to find that green dinosaur so I'm guessing that's under the D's so let's scroll down here and oh, I scrolled way too far let's go back up and there we go this is the dinosaur they're using on page 12 so let's click that one and then go down to the bottom right here and click on OK and now if we click on the costumes tab up here we see that our dinosaur has uh, seven different costumes so let's go back to scripts here and now I'm on step number three it says create this script to make the dinosaur keep changing costumes click on the green flag above the stage to run it so we got to put in a when clicked that's an event so let's drag when clicked over here and then I want a forever loop loops are control so let's grab forever loop and drop it in over there and then uh, costumes are under looks and so what I want is I want to choose uh, next costume here and I'm not seeing that one there it is right there in the middle okay so let's drag that one out and so he starts off on costume one and he'll go to costume two and costume three and so on and we don't want this to happen so fast we can't even see it we don't want it to be a blur so we are going to put in a wait instruction uh, which says wait uh, 0.5 seconds so here's my wait command and I want that to be inside the forever and the default on this is 1 so I need to put in 0.5 and then I can just click someplace else and what I want to have him do is move 10 steps so that is going to be a motion command and move 10 steps is right there and eventually he will get to the edge of the screen and what I want to do is if he hits the edge of the screen I want him to bounce so this is the if on edge bounce that'll make him turn around and go the other way okay let's try this um, let's click on let's stop it first and let's click on the green flag and what happens is he's going to take 10 steps and then he's going to change and these are all kind of like random it doesn't really look like he's doing any particular motion like walking or running or jumping or something like that but when he gets over to the right edge here and hits the right edge he will bounce and when he bounces he turns upside down okay and what we need to do is we need to um, click on the little eye down here in our dinosaur and we've got to set his rotation style and what we want to do is it says try each one and see what happens okay so right now this one is what's being used because that's the one that's colored blue I'm gonna try this one right here and we'll see what happens when he gets to the other edge of the screen and the book says that that one will cause him to change direction but it will keep the sprite upright whereas the other one with that little um, curved line here uh, he spins around and goes upside down okay now let's try uh, the next one and it says keeps the sprite exactly the same and so I assume he's going to start backing up here in a minute 
and he does. Okay, so you have him turn upside down, you can have him back up, or you can have him turn around and face the direction that uh, that he's moving in. Okay.